Let's set up Meta's Code Llama on an EC2 server. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is launch the EC2 GPU server with this AMI. Once you get into the EC2 server, you're going to want to run the conda config command. So here it is, I'm gonna run it really quick. There, it's just very simple, no output, and you're good to go. Then you'll wanna to go to the Code Llama repository here on GitHub, and uh, uh, we're gonna clone this repository. All right, here we go, git clone repository, and then it's gonna download. Wait, that was fast. All right, now we have the code repository loaded onto our EC2 GPU instance. Also, if you're curious about which machine instance I chose, I'm gonna run nvtop really quick to show you uh, the number of GPUs. You can kind of see uh, we are running eight GPUs on this really beefy EC2 server. They are the 810Gs. All right, next we're going to download the model from Meta's uh, file hosting cloud. We do that by going dot forward slash download inside of the new GitHub cloned repository, press enter. They'll send you an email after you've signed up uh, and it'll include a very long URL. They want you to paste that URL here. Here we go, boom. Ah, which model do I want? I want the, the big one. Let's go with the big one. Uh, there it goes, it's downloading. All right, that will take a little while. All right, we've downloaded a bunch of models and they are now on our, uh, our EC2 server. In the setup readme instructions, they also want wanted us to run pip install uh, the requirements package. There we go, it's gonna download dependencies. All right, so we have all our model files downloaded and I have their example script here up and running in the, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I have an initial prompt here highlighted that you can see on the screen that uh, will be the beginning for the completion text. Then what we do here is uh, we run the program uh, and then you can see that it's starting to run. Then uh, here at the top right of the screen, I have NB top running. You'll see some of those GPUs get a little bit warm as they're working. Yep, you can see them, they're, they're busy now. They're doing the work, they're processing through the completion, and then uh, at the end, we'll have a result that pops out here on the, the left-hand side of the screen. All right, here we have our results. It did the job that we asked it to do. It completed our Python coding task. We can see that it followed our instructions and our initial prompt. It completed the imports. It set up the SDK, the PubNub SDK. It created a connection to a channel, and then it started the listener so that way it can receive data over the PubNub data stream network. There you go. That's it. That's uh that's that's all you have to do. It's really they made it really easy. You can now have your own AI in a box that does does your bidding. All you have to do is just give it a little bit of instructions and then it will complete the task at hand. And it does a good job and it does it rather quickly if you can see the results and it will use multiple GPUs for the larger models, which is amazing. I'll paste the, the commands so that way you can see the setup process and it's, it's pretty straightforward. That's it. I can tell you that this is a really good experience from a developer uh, and they allow you, they don't set up like a web server or any fancy UI like that. You can do that yourself. You can set up um, uh, your own web server. But uh, meanwhile, they let you run scripts and the prompts for the completion and it works. It does a really good job. I'm very satisfied with it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And now you have the power of your own AI in your hands so that you can do what you need it to do.